the path. Looks like there's one path, right? Looks like we're going one way, and we came from that way. Well, no, it's just the flattest and most expedient, smoothest path I'm going to go. For instance, if I had to go to the water, can you see the water over there? If I had to go to the water, or I had to go in that per to that person's lawn over there, I'd have to cross through some woods. It'd be a little tougher. What are we doing? Are we taking a path? The flattest, smoothest, most expedient path? Or are we doing the right thing? If you were thirsty enough, you'd say, well, the right thing is to get to the water. If that's where you lived, you'd say, oh, the right thing is to jump over that fence and get to that house, because that's where I live. I'm going to eat dinner. What's the right thing? What? As a Christian, I'm speaking to Christians, so I'm talking about war, and do I support the war? Well, I could use somebody else who's uh, interpreter, interpreting this their own way. Tulsi Gabbard, Sean Hannity, talking to her last night, I believe. She says stuff like, well, Biden should have a set objectives. We should know what the plan is. We should know what the outcome is, what we expect, and do the right thing for us as well as the rest. But what's the best thing? For the United States. The best thing for the United States is Russia not being the aggressor and killing innocent people, destroying the Ukraine. That's the best thing for the United States. Doesn't matter about Biden. Doesn't matter about countries. Doesn't matter about Russians. What do I care about Russians? What do I care about Ukrainians? That's right, I didn't care a month ago. Right? They are just uh, in. Oh, interesting places I've never been to, Russia and Ukraine. Um, some people are saying, well, you can't know the truth. Nothing they're putting out is the truth. If they're saying one thing, for sure the other thing is the truth. For sure it's something they want you to think to manipulate you. In that case, or it's propaganda. Everybody uses propaganda. They all show you the images they want you to see. Not necessarily what really is happening. Really is happening? Look here. I only have to know. Evil people are doing wicked things. Murderers are murdering. Uh, that's pretty black and white. That's a pretty simple decision. If you have somebody who's a murderer, a destroyer, you're doing the best you can. You might get hurt or killed in the process. You have to stand up in the process of murdering, getting ready, or attempting, or engaging. You're going to do what you can. If it's falling on your knees and praying to God and asking for divine intervention, I'm all for that. Yeah, do something now to stop it. We're in a fallen world doing the best we can, making right decisions. So if you're a Christian soldier, man or woman, or if you're a Christian family and your son or daughter is going into war, I want you to know I support the war to defend Ukrainians because it's just the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. Stop the aggressor. There was no existential threat against Russia. Maybe there was against Putin. But uh, <clears throat> stop the Putin war. Uh, don't have any malice in your heart. I don't have any animosity towards Russians. This is Putin and the people who support him destroying a nation, and when I say innocent people, I mean people who 
are living where they're supposed to live in their own country. They're not being aggressors against them. They're not the murderers. They're not the aggressors. They're not the evil. Murderers are going to go as far as they can, as much as they want, for as long as they can, wherever they can. That's a murderer. Once you start murdering, one of two ways that can go. You can either repent, not have remorse, you still have a soul, or you don't have a soul. Hey, you just keep going, man. This is a party, and I'm here to party. I'm here to rock and roll. He's not going to stop. You can't negotiate with him. Tulsi Gabbard said, you got to know your objective before you engage. Yeah, well, my objective is clear. Stop the murderer. Now, some people are saying, hey, you're going to escalate the situation. Ah, oh, you put a no-fly zone. We're going to engage. There'll be troops down. You'll have to take out the anti-aircraft installations. You'll be bombing Russians, wherever the Russians are, that are a threat to your planes in the no-fly zone. You're going to be There'll be pilots down, uh, there'll be rescue missions, there'll be boots on the ground if there's a no-fly zone. Okay, so you're saying, I'm escalating. If you put a no-fly zone, this thing about the MiGs, giving the MiGs to the Ukrainians, that's ridiculous. Ridiculous. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Using artillery on a city, using chemical or biological on a city, using nukes on the city, using machine guns on a city, using knives on a city, using billy clubs on a city. The murderers must be stopped and we're not going to worry about escalation it's already gone the only thing they're wondering is how much can I get away with how quick to get me on top like Biden says well this is the beginning of a new world order we want to make sure the West is on top of course yeah duh what do I care who's on top I'd rather there be no war. I don't care that the West's on top. The Russians and the Chinese want to rule the world. Let them rule the world in peace. Stop killing people. We must stop the aggression, the murderers. So I support you going into war or your children going into war or your mother or father going into war. You have to make, everybody has to go before God in judgment. So make sure your heart is right and pray for wisdom. Lord, I pray for wisdom myself. What should I say? Where should I go? To whom should I speak? Holy Spirit, I need it. Help, Lord. Help me, Holy Spirit. I pray that you receive wisdom and how to act towards what is going on and God knows it's probably going to be worse by the time it gets to where you are in the future of watching this. Every minute it gets worse here. Like I said, what are you waiting for? Are you waiting for it to go? How far? You waiting for them to cross the line of the chemical, biological, and that's what they're arguing about now today, a month into this. If he uses chemical, biological, that's crossing a red line. Uh, the media is trying to tell us trying to get him to say, that's the red line. If he crosses that, we're in it. Uh, article whatever, or NATO, we're going to, because it's nuclear fallout. And, or biological fallout, chemical fallout. So if it goes to chemical, biological, obviously, just logically, the next step is to use tactical nukes and then use regular nukes. And... I live on the East Coast, and the ocean's right over there. So I expect there to be a nuke. Yeah. 
Well, if I'm approving you going into war in the Ukraine, do whatever you can to stop the Putin war, stop the aggressor, whatever means necessary, minimum, minimal use of force, uh, to the best degree, I expect it to go nuclear. I expect it to be a bomb right over here a few miles. And, and a tsunami. I don't expect them to nuke uh, on the land. That would be ridiculous. Just drop it in the ocean. There will be a tsunami here. Wipe all of this out. Then you got something to work with if you're on top when this is all over. Crazy. So what I'm saying is get with God. Make sure your heart's right in the matter. Pray for wisdom. If that seems like the right thing for you to do, to go into war, if you're the soldier, sailor, marine, if you're the housewife, if you're the mother or the father, if you're the son or the daughter of the soldier, it's the right thing to do at this time. We're making the best decision we can with the information we got. So, and we're doing it in Christ, in Jesus, and we know God doesn't want us to kill, and we also know God will support those who help the weak and the helpless, the orphan and the widow, any weak person who is being destroyed and killed by an aggressor. God's also on that side, that's also God's will. God's will. So, I'm just wondering, what's taking so long? What are you waiting on? And I don't trust Democrats, I don't trust Republicans, I don't trust governments. Who cares? Like I say, Russian, America, what do I care? Who rules the earth in a fallen world? They're supposed to be wicked, evil. It's a fallen world. As long as they don't oppress the people, that's all I care about. And we're able to evangelize. Until a month ago, we were able to evangelize in Ukraine and Russia. Now that's over. Now we're supposed to be killing each other. The Christians that became, you see how crazy it is? Borders and alliances. You can't have an alliance with NATO. Just do the right thing. So I bless what you're doing. If that includes taking up arms, using lethal force, I bless it in the name of Jesus. Do the right thing today. Keep doing the right thing while you're still on earth. We all want to get to heaven. I care about your salvation. I care about the people's salvation you'll be killing in the process. I pray they come to repentance, salvation, healing, deliverance, and blessing. I pray they lay down their arms. I pray they all just walk off the battlefield. You get there, you show up with your rifle and your grenades, your rocket launchers, and they all put down their arms. Wouldn't that be nice? Well, God can make that happen. God can do anything. But he's going to give people choice. And those who's, who are hardened, Sometimes God hardens them to bring about an outcome. Be blessed in the hearing, in the name of Jesus Christ, and the power of the Holy Spirit, to the glory of God the Father. Amen.